pulling up 35 years of costumes and props from our costume shop. And our entire props room and costume room were inundated uh, at the peak of the flood, so everything got wet and as you can see, covered in quite a bit of mud. That makes sense. Mud on the floor, mud everywhere, and now we get to racks of clothing. Uh. We're watching. So, oh. yeah, seven feet tall. Huh? I'm just told that the water was seven feet tall. Probably right up along here. Is that where you can see the mud line? It's wet here and it's dry uh, here. Plastic boxes are strewn on the floor. Here we've got one, two, okay. Remember what I said your three was? racks. This yes. one, that one, the and the and one in the back. The so these are the back stairs. And Tim is up and just now starting to reach the dry, the dry area. The floor is just solid water and mud everywhere. There's a box of shoes. There's a whole rack that fell over with clothing on the floor. Any idea how many items we had hanging on hangers? Oh Lord, the, the, you mean for the whole costume for, shop? Yep. Um, Anne would be a better guess at that, but there are thousands. We have our whole Scandinavian set of costumes. We have, um, you know, we have all of the medieval set. The, these that we're taking out now are actually the Elizabethan group. And, um, and so they're, they don't really count as the medieval set. Um, the medieval ones are the ones that we use for all of the, you know, the, the French, the early English, and, and, and the kind of traditional rebel show that we do. What we're doing right now is moving Lois's costume, which she had already moved down here, for the show out. And there's all these, and then two other racks that we've moved out. And then we're going through as we can do it and looking at the bins and seeing which things are really ruined and which things are salvageable. The water clearly went up to the top of these, not maybe not even the top of these racks, you can see it. You can see where the mud stops sort of sort of right. three quarters of the way up. And yeah, we all were, those things will have to be taken off and Yeah, cleaned. we were told seven feet. Do we have anything? We can put these in to get them out because these are awful. 
This yes. one? Yes, I think so. Right. And maybe you can just drag that out. You see what I'm saying? It's just because these are so much heavier. Yeah. Is that going to work or should you always want to drag them through the mud? costumes in this room. The French Canadian show we had, in addition, we had the costumes for this year's show, the most recent show. We had all of the Renaissance costumes, all of the medieval costumes, all of the stuff we used for summer, the Victorian costumes, and the northern, what was that one called? The Northlands. The Northlands. Northlands. Yeah. Show. The Appalachian show. The Appalachian yeah, show was in right. there. Eight shelves, six feet long of fabric. And those are all gone. The very top shelf looks like that made it through with lace and okay, hats. Okay, the answer is you can't even get into the shelves. And this one, and this one, I don't know why she would think about that one. And wait, this glass one. These were just leaning over. Excuse me. Okay, I. Got over. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. These are all. Yes. There are tons and tons of these. These are all bits right here. Okay, is this a save bag? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. If they're cotton, they can be saved. And what you should be finding in here is white shirts. Yeah. And See, everything you're finding should be cotton, except for what was on this rack. And this is the. This the wall and this is the floor as you enter this is the first of what looked like dozens and dozens of racks all double height one at the floor one above going as far back as I can see it looks like 20 25 feet maybe here's a long rack on this side and here is the end of another long rack that goes back. There's a rack that is tipped over. So, it's going to be a while to assess, and, but uh, we're working at it hard today. Um, our plan is to go ahead with our Christmas show this year. Ironically, in our Christmas show, the Queen hits a bit of bad weather and has to make a pit stop at, a, at an unexpected um, location. And if we can't restore her gorgeous costume, I'm sure there will be a weather, a weather moment in the show that's the reason why. So.